Yes, my niche brothers. Thank you very much for helping me set up. Yes, uh, nation to nation building. Thank you. Um, whoo. Okay, we are live, folks. Uh, we're from Victoria. We're live from Victoria Island here. Um, here in the back seat of a car, setting up. Thank you to my niche brothers here. Yes. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. Have a good one, guys. Want to say hello to the world? Enjoy. <laughs> here we go, folks. Um, so a little lay to land here. This is Victoria Island, CBC live truck. But this is where Chief Teresa Spence did her fast. And uh, Parliament Hill, for those that don't know, is right there in the background. This is the uh, village here. There's already a good 500 plus people. They are set to arrive at this moment in time, but they're a little behind schedule. After 1,500 kilometers, uh, it's expected. Uh, I'm going to give you a little tour. There is a feast going on. There's three CBC trucks, lots of media, a lot of indie media. Hello. Hi, you live streaming? You live streaming to the world. Okay. Where can I tell people to connect to you? Uh, Occupy Toronto live stream. Occupy Toronto. Just Google that live stream. Occupy Toronto live stream. I followed you from the last protest. That's why yeah. I was wondering if Occupy Toronto was going to be. We here. already have 300 people cool. watching on six cool. continents, and we're just Toronto. getting started. Toronto. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Ajay. Hi. Hi. The whole world's watching. Oh yeah. Hi. Okay. Hi. Well, you should be here. Well, they are. We're through the live stream. If you're in Australia. It's hard to walk. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. The Confederacy and the Unity Flags. The Treaty. Hello. They even brought in Johnny on the spots. Hello. And there is a feast waiting for the walkers here at Victoria Island. The clan mothers have been cooking up a storm. We will cover. Yar. Hello. We're live to the world. Can you tell us what's on the menu for the walkers? What's in the stew? Uh, moose. moose. Rabbit. 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 Three sisters. Carrot, onion. Three sisters. Three sisters uh, soup. What else is there? All kinds. Nice. <laughs> you must have been up all night. Oh yeah. <laughs> Barley. Yeah, and lots of bannock. Lots of bannock. Oh yes. Lots oh look, you like bannock? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for all this. You're thank you. How are you doing, sir? Good. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Yar. Hi, mom. Yes. <laughs> There's a very good spirit here. Um, now. I just want to let people know that we're going to cover this and we're being restreamed at all over the world as well. Occupy Wall Street's Global Revolution, London, England, lots of places. Now, if we go down for any reason, we, we will be back up for a lot of the new viewers as well. We're going to be here till at least the next four and a half hours. Hello. Hello. Remember it's me? Yar. How are you doing? From Holland? Yes. Yes. From Holland, you want to? There's people from uh, the Netherlands watching. You want to say something in Dutch to people? Okay. 
Hé hey jongens, ik ben hier nu in Atsawa. Er komen zo meteen uh, wandelaars binnen die 1600 kilometer hebben gelopen. De mensen zijn uh, Nish Nishwabi. Ja. En uh, we gaan ze hier verwelkomen en we lopen met ze naar Parlement Hill. Geweldig hè? Het is zo heerlijk om hier te zijn. Om die mensen te steunen in de plannen die ze willen hebben voor het land. Zo, so, blijf ons steunen. Oké, okay, doei. Yes. Cool. I'm originally from Iceland. Yes, I know. Yes, yes. And I was, I was seeing you walking around, you know. Yeah. Already before. Uh huh. And I thought, oh, you're still here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you go back? Uh, no, not yet. I will be going back to Toronto soon. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah, I think I saw you in Toronto for the march there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just updating some of the new viewers as to what's happening today. And one other thing that people should know, as part of the festivities here after the walkers arrive and they eat, is there is going to be, uh, with full protocols, they're going to be lighting the sacred fire, which of course we're not live streaming that. That we're not allowed to, of course, ever live stream the protocols, let alone ever. The, the sacred fire so we won't cut I'll just be off to the side uh, doing other things and then there's going to be special prayers and ceremony which we're not uh, allowed to film and that should be about a half hour which uh, to a lot of you niche viewers uh, totally understand why we can't live stream that but uh, I will not cut I'll just be off way to the side so we don't get any of that uh, just so people know. So enjoy. My name is Dee Shanger. I'm a mod and live stream director here at Occupy Toronto. Hello. Oh. Hi, We're gonna go to uh, Wellington Street, where the police shortly are going to close off the street. Now, I know enough of you viewers already have been following this story since January, when the six Cree youth and one wise guy left northern Quebec. And eight weeks later, they arrive in Ottawa. That's 1,500 kilometers for, for our sisters and brothers in the States. That's almost a 1,000 miles. So this is the area. And you know what? I think they already lit. Yes. So we won't be coming back. Hello, you're live to the world. Hello, world! Yeah, come on now! <laughs> Thank you. So, here's where they will be coming. So, I'm slowly making my way to Wellington Street. Again, we're going to be taking this route, Wellington Street, to, if you look at the center of your screen, that's the Parliament Buildings. And there's a lot of speakers on tap who will be speaking at the rally on Parliament Hill. We will cover all that. Uh, the march, the feast. Uh, yes. Yes, live to the world. Hi. You want to say something to the world? Uh, my name is Audra. I just want to say hi. Yes. I'm so excited to see the walkers. Oh, aren't they so inspirational? They're very inspirational. Well, this is instantly archived, so by the time you get home, oh, yeah. just Google Occupy Toronto live stream. You can watch yourself. So here's where they will be arriving to Wellington. We are again on Victoria Island in downtown Ottawa. For those that don't know worldwide, it's the capital of 
colonialist Canada, and we are unoccupied lands. There's a lot of kids not going to school today because their parents know that this is more of an education than this day in school. Our grassroots media. How you doing, bro? You're live to the world. Thanks. <laughs> to all our First Nations brothers and sisters and friends from across Canada, we welcome you to unsurrendered Algonquin land home. Hello, you're live to the world. What, what do you think of the walkers? Oh, are you shy? It's okay, it's okay. Enjoy the moment. Hi, what, what do you think of uh, the walkers? You're um, live to the world, by the way. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm Tracy. <laughs> From Missuck First Nation number eight. And I think this is a great movement to be a part of, especially right now. Time is, Time's come where we all wake up, and I'm glad to help them. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you. You, you bet. <laughs> what do you think of all this? Uh, I think it's great. It's the most exciting thing I've ever been to. I've been to the previous one. Uh, I think it's actually pretty cool. There's a lot of people. <laughs> Does this inspire you to maybe walk? <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. I wish I could have. For sure. <laughs> well, you will for the end of the route. Look at the buses come in. Look at the buses come in. <laughs> Front row seat. <laughs> Hello, world. <laughs> so you, you are part of it. You are part of it. You're here. It's a part of history right here. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. It is a beautiful, very... Woo, inspirational vibe here. Lots and lots of kids. This is really beautiful. From the young to the old. Hello. Hi. Really? You can feel them coming? I can feel the energy. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> You must be ashamed. <laughs> yes. One of the coordinators from the water day. Hello, brother. Nice seeing you. You're, hey. you're live to the world. Hi there, world. How are you? We're just getting started and we got over 300 viewers. I don't know more people. Yes. Hey, what, what do you think of all this? Put it in perspective. I think there was a need for it. It's a, it's a, again, it's an item opener to everybody, even to, the, even to our own people. To our own people, they too must know what's going on. Because they're idling at home, unfortunately. Just like our elders, they're idle at home. They too got to know. And it's all good. We have they, everybody, the whole world has to know. That's what I think. Because it's, it's not only, it's the environment. It's the earth. It's the water. That's why we do it. It's not for today. It's for the future. And that's what I think. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. This is beautiful. Thank and you. thank you. Thank you very and you're much. wonderful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.
Yes, you got a front row seat, folks. They'll be coming down this street. That's why everybody's waiting here. They will be closing this uh, portage bridge, as it's called. And uh, there's easily close to a thousand people here waiting. And yes, uh, six youth and one wise guide started at the end of January, the 1500 kilometer trek. And it's mushroomed near the end to about 200. And who knows through their walk in uh, Ottawa that that'll be mushrooming out. And we got a feast waiting for them. The people are just waiting and waiting and waiting. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> you know that? Yes, they're coming. We were there on Saint Joseph. And how far away is that, you think? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Sooner than later. They, yeah. they could get the case. What do you think of all this? It's fantastic. I love that water. Yeah. <laughs> well, where's I've been Wabanaki? I've to see and meet these young fellows for over two months now. Wow, where's Wabanaki? Wabanaki is uh, from the East Coast. It's a compilation of six other, or five other tribes. Nice. Um, I'm uh, Wulistigwe, and there's Mi'kmaq, Penobscot, Abenaki, and Passamaquoddy. Beautiful. So you were saying, well, this must be very inspirational. Tell us how you feel right now. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just excited <laughs> more than anything. <laughs> You've been, we've been following it on Facebook since it started and watching the maps that Robert Savoy, big shout out to Robert Savoy, his maps are fantastic. And uh, now it's finally coming to, you know, a sort of bittersweet end. Um, but I, these are leaders in our, the making, I find. Yeah, it's only the beginning. Totally. <laughs> I don't know more is the best thing that happened for grassroots people and these youth are even more inspirational. Yes, yeah, absolutely. You know, what I don't know more, I think this is the, for the niche people of Turtle Island, this is the most organized they've been really in 200 years since the come seat. And he did it on a horseback. Oh, yes. <laughs> I wasn't born 200 years ago, so I don't know. I was born in 69, that's all I know. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, well, thank you. Where is this now? Is this the live feed? We, we are live to the world. Live to the world. Hey, peace. Shout out to my family back home. Yes. And, and it's so that's his First Nation, Fredericton, New Brunswick. And it's instantly archived, so nice. you'll be able to watch it. Proud to be Willis Gray. Yes. <laughs> we are. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect day for it. Yes, it is. There's the police across the street. Hello. Hi. You're live to the world. Do you have anything to say? Anything? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Megwitch. Hello. You're live to the world. Oh, God. 
you have anything to say? How, how do you feel right now waiting on the walkers? Excited? Yeah. My cousin's walking. Yeah. We're yeah. waiting to meet her. Yeah. How long has she been walking? Um, she's been walking from Kidding on TV, so that's like Thursday. Yeah, since Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday. Nice. So how many people will be there now? A few hundred at least. Yeah, three hundred. They're underway. Three hundred. Yeah. They said they're at St. Joseph. Is that how far away is that? They said they're underway right now. Yeah, Yay! <laughs> The inside scoop, folks. That's Kelsey. She's running. It was a guy Oh, here they are. Okay, the police are ready to close down the bridge. There they are, folks. But they should have blocked both roads. Okay, here they are. Wait, 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 wait. Well, if the police can't control it. Slow, slow. Here they are, folks. East, east, west. Yeah. They're here. Here they are!
Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. I know. You're awesome. Just want to say thank you so much. Your coverage has helped out so many people, informed so many people. Keep up the good work. Much thank appreciated. You. Thank Mr. you. Watson. And thank you, Tori. Tori, love you. Love thank you, too. Tori, for helping organize this. Anytime. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Oh, this is, I know. <laughs> Next stop, Washington. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are we waiting for? <laughs> oh, oh, we got a party. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! 
careful. <laughs> I do bro. Again, what's going on is a very special ceremony which we're not live streaming. So, just so people know. Hey boys! Wait, hey. hey. Max <laughs> from Black Small. I walked to Black Small in here. Morning, and business. I did it. The guy looking good, sir. Can't get so long with Kanawa. Buffalo. She went to a tanka. Oh, I cheek. Tanka, you. <laughs> How was the trip? You're live to the world. Yeah. How was the trip? It was fun. I uh, had a good walk to all the brothers and sisters from the, up the north. And it was a good experience too, to walk all, to all together. How long were you walking? About a month. Wow. How did you find the experience? Good. Very good and very special. And, uh, that's a very good experience to walk. Beautiful. Thank you. Miigwech. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. The whole world's watching on six continents. What do you want to say? Well, I want to think. Creek is the rocks. I'm from Barrow Lake of Algonquins, First Nation. And I was walking about a month. I'm one of the supporters of Southern Walkers. And I'm here for them. How'd you find the heart. experience? My name's not Steve, Ben. Did you learn a lot? I've learned a lot and the people that inspired me. I'm not Steve, I'm Ben. I'm the other brother. And I'm here. Now, I'm one today, of many brothers. Steve number two. Till the end. Yeah. <laughs> Miigwech. Miigwech. <laughs> to the world. On six continents. What's wrong with Let's Antarctica? <laughs> I don't know. Sorry about that, folks. There's only military presence there. An expedition. We have had viewers. It's been a while from there. So what website is this exactly? Occupy Toronto live stream. Occupy Toronto live stream. Yeah. Okay. I recorded it so I'll remember. How's the signal folks? So we briefly lost the signal. Are we back? Let me know in the live chat. <laughs> Fred, the signal's good? Okay, thank you. That was just a brief uh, glitch.
I'm actually getting warmer now that there's people around. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sweating now or what? <laughs> no, it's feeling a bit warmer. <laughs> sure! Boston Bruins hat. Nice hat. Half would be good. <laughs> really? <laughs> you like Montreal? Oh, yes. They're the best. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Montreal versus Boston Bruins. <laughs> Yeah, you like no, 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 let's not let uh, hockey ruin our unity. Yes, true, 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 true. Okay. Let's talk about Today, lacrosse. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a challenge? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> There's a really good feast waiting. It's gonna yeah. be a really good feast. Moose. All these walkers, they, they've been eating good, eh, since they've been oh, walking. Oh, I they, can they, imagine. That's beautiful. They've ate lots of moose heart, moose kidneys. Yeah. A lot of yes. people have uh, killed moose uh, moose harvested moose and all that yeah. for the feast. Rabbit, uh, barley. Rabbits, uh, whatever, whatever anybody can bring. Three sisters, yeah. Oh, all there's good. lots of, lots of bannock, of course. Hi, my name is Ben from Barrier Lake First Nations. Nice beautiful. to meet you. Beautiful. Were you involved in the walk? Uh, just from right here, yeah. Beautiful. But I'm supporting all these guys. This guy's from my home community. He's a walker. Nice. I walk, this guy. And I walk, and I walk, and I stop. And <laughs> my brother's in there somewhere. <laughs> it was painful. Painful, eh? That's one of the walkers over there. The guy with the red uh, checkered flag, uh, that's, the guy, that's the guide. He, his name is uh, Isaac, the red Isaac Calvert, shirt? Yeah, with the black cap. Yeah. He is one of the walkers, one of the guides, originally from Wapamutu. Right in the center of your screen. Black Isaac! Hat. Say hello to the world! <laughs> that is the one guide that the started it all. That's one of the guides, but uh, the other ones are over there. He's nice. The, he's the guide, so. Yeah, no, that it's a special ceremony, so I don't film that, of course. Oh, yeah, there's a dog. <laughs> so folks do tweet this link out uh, they have arrived and we got a long day of festivities lined up to greet them and we'll be live streaming it all day Drum. <laughs> Another large drum is arriving. <laughs> Follow a drum where you'll get it. it. Really? <laughs> Excuse me, is that the drum key? Key? <laughs> Is that the key? <laughs> <Yeah>. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, he's right in the middle of the fence. Uh-oh. 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 Used to walk through. But not on the roads, in the bush, and with the slaves and dogs and all that. It's good. I promise, this is me. This is me from my very late. What's your name? Kenneth. Kenneth Warren. Okay, you too. Oh. Hey, Tina. Where are you going? Oh. This is a sweet cheese man on there. Yeah. Batteries falling out. It's all the excitement. One of the batteries in my turn up front. Where the guys were like, oh, where is my Are you recording? Are you recording?
We're live to the world on six continents, over 70 countries watching us live. Again, there's a special ceremony. Um, sacred fire has been lit. So that's why we're back here and we're not up front filming these ceremonies, which we know better not to. What do you think of all this? Good. Very good. To show our pride. <laughs> yes. What do you think of all this, sister? Oh, this is just wonderful what's happening here today, and I'm just so glad I could be part of it. Beautiful. Megrid? It's exciting. Yes. <laughs> Thousands of people here, folks. Hard to eat. Show you a bit of the land here. Good, keep snapping. And then just fucking recognize some people. Oh, there's Diane over there. See her in a black hat. Diane! You see? <laughs> oh, Judy! <laughs> We're waving at everybody. <laughs> she hears her name. Hey, look at her own. Oh, you can smell the sage. Yeah, it smells really nice. Well, I should get news coverage today. <laughs> We'll take a and it's all about sustained <laughs> coverage. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to talk. Yeah. Except the grassroots media yes. like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That is just a picture of that truck. Yes, we're exactly 1.2 kilometers walk here from Victoria Island in downtown Ottawa. We're 1.2 kilometers exactly from Parliament Hill, which will we, after the walkers eat, we will be marching to Parliament Hill and there will be numerous speakers lined up to speak. And then around four o'clock, there's a press conference on the hill. And uh, everything's supposed to end around five, but I think, All these people here are walkers. In the end, there was well over 200 that joined. That started with six Cree youth, all under 20, and one wise guide, and it mushroomed by the end. 
uh, to 200 uh, plus people uh, that joined at different stages, <laughs> some for a month. It was about an eight week track, it was 1,500 kilometers. Um, for those of you in the States, uh, it's almost a thousand, <laughs> almost a thousand miles. It took them about eight weeks. They started at the end of January and uh, here we are March 25th. That's far, wow. And there's more. Is that, is that a 4 APTN? Yeah? No, this is uh, live to the world right now. <laughs> there's tons of niche viewers. Tons of what? Yeah. Niche. 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 Yes. You want to say something to the world? Oh. <laughs> Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Nice. Would you like to say something to the world? <laughs> okay. Would you like to say something to the world? Hi. Hi world. We're gonna go to the food area where they're gonna go next after the ceremony. P-A-R-S-K-I-N. What, uh, are you from Chelsea? Yeah, we're from Chesapeake. And where is Chesapeake? Chesapeake is um, 1,400 kilometers north of here. Did you guys... On the coast of James Bay. But you guys, you weren't part of the walk from there, though. No, well, we didn't, we didn't did you, start from Did there. you fly in? Did you... We drove, you we drove, drove all the way yeah. from... Uh, you drove. Yeah. Wow, that's great. What an experience, and Look eh? at all the people here. What do you think you have to do to get the government's attention? I guess this is not enough. I guess, I guess they got to walk home. They're going to walk home. But do you it, think he's journey. deliberately trying to say, like he's not deliberately trying to make a message about the pandas versus you. You really don't think so, that, do you? Like, how do you take that then? I don't know. Feels like he's avoiding the walkers. Yeah, you want to go to the pandas more than the walkers. I feel like the pan the walkers are more important than the pandas. You feel like they're obviously. Because the walkers have a voice, they have something to be heard. Yeah. 
Okay, well, thanks a lot. It's a really great experience for you, eh, to be here? What media yeah. are you two with? We're with CBC. Okay, TV? Who are you with? Uh, Occupy Toronto live stream. You're live to the world on six continents right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. What about you ladies? What did you, did you walk? Did you just arrive here? We just Thanks a lot. Eh? Yeah. How are <laughs> Hello. Excuse me. Sorry. Hello. Hi. Good to be here. <laughs> Did you come with the bunch? Or? Oh, me, my girl. Hi. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, I'll probably vote two other people, two other aunties. <laughs> hi. Hi again. Hey. <laughs> Want to say hi to the world? Hi, world. <laughs> Is that live stream? Yeah. Oh, nice. We're live to the world. Oh, wow. On six continents. Wow. Hello, world. Only Antarctica isn't watching us. Oh, yeah? <laughs> 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 Having a blast here. Oh man, is it ever. <laughs> Thank you. Megwith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, you're live to the world. Hello. Hello. That's a beautiful hat. What is that? Is that a bear? That is. A bear! You like a bear? Yeah. How does a bear go? Bears. <laughs> <laughs> Make which? Hey, thank Bye. you. <laughs> Hi, hello. Broadcasting? <laughs> Live to the world on six continents right now. Hundreds and hundreds of years. Oh, good, 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 good. good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm from the uh, north where they're originally from. Nice. And uh, I'm here to be part of it and welcome. What, welcome. what do you think? I mean, because it started off with six youth from your territory. And uh, how do you, have they inspired you? Well, I've always been inspired by youth. And that's where I get my inspiration from. Actually, when I was walking down here on the street, uh, just coming towards here. That's where I used to walk around as a kid. I grew up here in my youth, but I was born and raised in the bush. I would go back and forth from here to the city and go back to return in the bush. Beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm. And there's quite a feast of wild game lined up for today. Yes, yes, yes. Moose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. our, our, our delicacy in its finest. Nice. That's what we have a uh, that's my uh, my food. My my when I go back, that's what I have home. And how do you traditionally prepare it? What's the delicacy? Uh, well, it, it depends. Because you can prepare on, different ways. Oh, it depends. Uh, like uh, say, like big game, like moose. Virtually every part of the moose is eaten from the intestines, and the, the hide is used for uh, different things. Like uh, could be for moccasins, gloves and uh, the bones are used for traditional tools as well to clean the hide so virtually every aspect of the animal is used for what it is yeah? even the brain is used to, uh, to use soft the hide before it's time really yeah, yeah. Huh. and the smoke is used to uh, to tan the, the hide as a, through its natural uh, color yeah? mm. nice so everything is natural yeah so how, uh, for the people that don't know that are watching, how do you pronounce your, the territory that these youth are from? Uh, well, there's various uh, communities from where I'm from, but it's our <laughs> territory or the Cree territory of Kona, the, the Cree EUSG. EUSG, it's better known. And the people that come from there are known as EU. But in the, going back to where, uh, how they the Originally, they were called Nishio. Beautiful. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Thank, Thank you. And what's you. your name there, brother? My name is Thomas Jolly. I'm from uh, Nemesis. Beautiful. My name is Shanger from Occupied Toronto Livestream.
Thank Originally you. from Iceland. Okay. Nice, <laughs> nice to meet so, you. We know how it is up north. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Very good. Megwich. Okay. You're welcome. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you part of the walkers? Yeah. Yes. You're live to the road right now. <laughs> hundreds of viewers. Hello, hundred viewers. On six continents, by the way. Hello, six continents. So, uh, tell us a bit about the journey. It was, it was rough. It was tough. But we made it after 14, 1500 kilometers. You were there from the beginning? Uh, the second community they reached. Nice. Yeah. So, tell us uh, what a typical day, if such a thing exists, in your walk. Uh, everything. It was, every, every day was different. Every day was different. I cannot t tell you exactly, but it was different. Do you know the genesis of the idea of why they started the walk in the first place? Uh, to bring all the nations together as one, as a unity. We're all Canadians uh, throughout, all, throughout Canada. It was the message. And, uh, pr protect the land, the environment, the waters, the lakes, rivers. All to protect. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how do you feel making it to the end here? Uh, it's very emotional. Yes. <laughs> is it the end or is it midway? Are you going to walk back? I don't know yet. So, well, rest up. Yeah, so <laughs> Enjoy uh, the yeah, moment. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And what's your name? Philip. Philip Rupert from yes. Sasabi. Beautiful. Um, Shanger from Occupy Toronto live stream. Okay. Megwitch. Megwitch. Were you involved in the journey? How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you were involved for a long time on the walk <coughs> from the beginning? No. Uh, yes. Do you want to say something in your native tongue? Speak in your own language. There's a lot of people who will understand. <laughs> There's a lot of people watching that I don't understand. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Do you want to say something in your native language? <laughs> you want to say something to the, your life to the world on six continents? Speaking, speak Nish. There's lots of Nish people. Um, uh, I'm the only seven ladies of the world. I'm from Lac Simon. My name is Steven James Alisapio. I'm from Lac Simon. I've marched all the long from Lac Simon to Ottawa. I've made a good march. I've known a new world. I'm from Lac Simon. It's a good march. It's a good experience. It's a good experience. It's a good experience. Thank you. Thank you. Language. Language. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you want to say something to the world? You're live to the world. <laughs> Talk in your, your own language. language. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I think she rain. I think she rain. Hurry up. She be. What? Get, get this one. I think it's a sad day in Canada when Hartford goes see pandas. Can't see the walkers that walk 1,500 kilometers to the blizzards. You know, I, I, I was uh, watching a CBC reporter. And, and watch CBC CTV News. They better well, not well, here's the thing. Now, uh, instead of it being glorious and to uh, an inspirational story, the mainstream media are already setting the tone saying, Do you, what's more important, pandas or you guys? Like, they're asking people that. Like, that's sick. Well, that, that's what I'm sad about. That's why I brought this sign. Yeah. I feel sorry for the pandas, too, so we'll pray for them. <laughs> Have a good day. Okay, thank you. <laughs> CBC News live truck. Uh, freelancing? Uh, Occupy Toronto live stream. You're live to the world oh, right hi, now. Hi, I'm uh, Cree Nation from Muscarius First Nation. And I'm proud to be an Indian and uh, Cree. And I'd like to say hello to everybody. Glad to be here and an honor to be as part of this important event. There's uh, a lot of niche viewers. You want to say something in Cree? Why do you come to the end? I'm going to go to the end. I'm going to go to the Yeah, for people that don't know, the Prime Minister of Canada is not here in Ottawa. He's actually in Toronto because the Toronto Zoo is receiving pandas on loan from China. So, uh, was this orchestrated or what? So, the Prime Minister is in Toronto <laughs> greeting the pandas from China. <laughs> and already the mainstream media is totally picking up on the fact of, you know, uh, should he be here? Was the pandas more important than you? Like, you can already tell the spin. Where, in, in a sense, becomes a panda versus this, and uh, the, why they're here and why they did the track will all be lost uh, in the mainstream media. Hence, why civilian journalists and the rise of grassroots media. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> hey, what do you think of all this? Hard to find Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Live to the world. Uh, that's your traffic signs. Stop. <laughs> Yar. Hi. Love Another Torontonian. Yeah. What do you Miss think you. today? I think it's awesome. It's 
very inspirational, motivational. It's the words undescribable, that feeling that I'm having right now. And you came all the way from Toronto? Yes. 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 To help out, be yes. support. I know, it's such an inspirational story. Yeah. I was listening in to a CBC a reporter, she was interviewing people and she was asking, okay, so, and you can already tell the spin the mainstream media is going to do. So what do you think? You think Harper should have been here or should have been with the pandas? So it's all about the pandas or you guys, like what's more important? Like already, oh, it's so orchestrated. Yes, People are not buying it. That's why live stream and the civilian journalists <laughs> Exactly. So in grassroots. reality, warts and all. Exactly. The grassroots, this is where it's been. Right here. Yeah. With Occupy Toronto live stream. Yay! <laughs> I love you! Yay! See you guys! Yar. <laughs> Look at all this food! There is a feast! There is a feast! Lots of, lots of <gasps> Can we see so the for banner? Breakfast? Can Think the world see the look? Oh my god, look at the banner! And then there's the donut. <gasps> oh! <laughs> the, oh! The, look at all this! Bannock! Bannock! More Bannock! More Bannock! More Bannock! Bannock! Oh! The feast! That's, that's one of the that's delicacies from the community of Wazwanapi. Oh, and what is that? It's what they call snicker jam. Is that how you call it? Snicker jam. And what's snicker jam? It's, it's diced butter mixed with uh, raspberry jam. Wow. And raspberries from the territory? No, just like regular raspberries. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, didn't <laughs> one. I didn't have time to make <laughs> I didn't have time to make homemade jam. Yes. You want to say something in your native language? There's lots of niche viewers here. Are you online? Well, you're live to the world on six continents. Really? Oh. 70 countries are watching us, at least. Hi, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Why does everybody do that? Because <laughs> it's true. Okay, they're here. They're here? Okay. They're being fun. All walkers falling behind. The walkers eat first. Yes, they are. Yeah, so. yeah. They're, yeah, eating, they're, they're eating first. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And the menu is, oh, it's so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the feast is now beginning. What are you serving here? We're live to the world. Uh, we're serving stew. I got no more is this the mousse? Yes, it is. It's a mousse stew. Nice. And rabbit is in there as well? No, it's only a mousse. Okay. Mousse stew. Nice. It smells delicious. I wish this live stream had smell o vision. It is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll do scratch and sniff next time. Huh? Uh, yeah. 
rabbit, I think. This is not rabbit. Moose. Moose. Moose with rice. Nice. And drinks. Lots of drinks and juice. I'll go and talk to Stay well hydrated. Salad. What's up? Come on, Alex.
Decisions, decisions, eh? Decisions, decisions. I want it all, man. <laughs> there might not be seconds. <laughs> I don't think I'll, there'll be enough for everyone, so. Well, you guys eat first, man. <laughs> you deserve it. Walker folks, a lot. Spider Man! <laughs> water! Please! <laughs> Spider Man wants water! <laughs> Where's your pocket? Do you have a pocket? No, it doesn't have What's your fault? Put it like this. Yeah, hold it like that. There you go. Watch out, though, it doesn't fall. Oh, 
Occupy Toronto live stream. Uh, because Jimmy Duke is, uh, is uh, texting me from Toronto saying, I see you coordinating the feast for the walkers. Hi, Jimmy. Nice to see you. <laughs> I love social media. <laughs> You're doing a great job. <laughs> What is this you're serving here? This is uh, moose chili. Oh, oh, serving it proud. <laughs> Parliament Hill, right in the center of your screen.
last summer. <laughs> The mighty Ottawa River, right behind Parliament Hill, and we are literally right behind on Victoria Island, the same place that Chief Theresa Spence in that Indian village right there that you see in the middle of your screen. Uh, that's where Chief Theresa Spence did her fast, and um, but it's not open today. And there is a feast going on today. That is Quebec on the other side. Got new all. <laughs> Hello, you're live to the world. Over Hi. 70 countries watching. What do you want to say? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Congratulations. Hello. You want to say something in your uh, native language? I don't want to disrupt your eating, but. Um, what's yeah? What's yeah? What's yeah? What does that? Thank you for watching. Oh, thank you for inspiring us. Stamwich <laughs> again. What does that mean? Stamwich again. What does that mean? It's very fun. Nice. Time which you can. Did I say it right? <laughs> Sharing the food. 145 in light action. We're live to the world. I'm live to the world. On six continents. Six continents. About 70 wow. countries watching us. What would you like to say? Hundreds and hundreds of viewers. Hello, world. Thank you for listening and hearing the voice of our youth. This journey is truly remarkable. The journey is a peaceful prote protest to unite, to unite everyone, First Nations and non-native communities, for our future. And our mission is that we can serve, protect the earth as far or as long as we can. And I think that's the, that's the main message. And through this journey, we have seen its own purpose. A lot of healing, a lot of courage and determination by the young people. And I'm very proud to see that as a leader. Very inspirational, very, very... Uh Tell us a bit more about this journey. The journey is about young people. The young people have stood up and said, we're gonna make a stand and we're gonna make action. We're gonna walk the talk as they say, and they have proven that. And they have traveled 1600 kilometers in the dead of winter at minus 55 when they left in our community. Oh. And it's springtime in Ottawa. This is spring weather in our community. <laughs> That's why I'm not wearing a jacket. <laughs> that you are. Uh, wh what is your name there, sir? My name is Chief Stanley George. Yes. Miigwech. Do you want to say something in your native tongue? There's a lot of niche viewers. Aguda, wajia, shaw, nojia ma, nashkumaj, shaman dog, ya, nashkumaj, stansko shiminaj. No, thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, and you're the chief of the territory that the chief where the original walkers departed from. Beautiful. I am Very inspirational. Years old. And, and, and it, it is truly inspiring. I can't say that enough. And I know you probably heard it enough, but it's almost like the most endearing story on earth has always been the survival of the human spirit and what people, what lengths people will go to reclaim their heritage. And this, this is a truly inspirational story. This is a testament. It's proven. And 
Yes, it is. It's very inspirational and the support we have received is it's not what we expected. It's more than we expected, I will say. I will say. And it's truly remarkable how many people have believed in this journey because this journey basically speaks the truth itself. And those walkers, they were determined. They made it. They made it this far. And, and I must say, you are a very young chief. Can I ask how old you are? I am 37 years old. I was first elected when I was 34 years old. Very inspirational chief. Miigwech. Thank you. Future live streamer, hello. hello. Wanna say hello to the world? Okay, you heard it. <laughs> Miigwech. Hello, hello world. Hi. Hello. Dan, I don't know more. I don't know more. Hello. Hi. Good live stream. Yes. I want to say hi to my friend Beverly. I believe she's uh, watching it right now. Nice. How you doing? Uh, speak in uh, your native tongue if you like. There's a lot of niche viewers. Oh, really? Yes. I want to say hi to my friend Beverly. I'm trying to go to the ACB, or Clarkstow, Fort Albany, or Upscat, all over the falls of James Bay. What do you have to say? Next on the today's agenda, folks, after the walkers eat, is we're going to do a march to Parliament Hill. And at Parliament Hill there, uh, it's only a 1.2 kilometer walk. And after a 1,500 kilometer journey, it's nothing. But there's going to be lots and lots of speakers lined up uh, as well. Uh, press conference <coughs> um, with uh, an issue. Falling through the snow to try and get the hangle. It's hard to eat carrying a laptop. I'm having so much fun. I love the way they eat communally. Yay! Congratulations! Congratulations! That's a good boost, me. Very delicious. Such a mistake. Such a good mistake. Woo! <laughs> 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 
What did he say? <laughs> I love you all. The nation. The world. Native land. And you are inspiring the world. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Miigwech. This will be you too. <laughs> this is uh, my friend from Barry Lake. What's your name? My name is Nadia Bukjish. How old are you? I'm 20 years old. Good. I'm the youth chief of uh, Barrier Lake, the first uh, youth chief in Algonquin territory. Nice. You're a filmmaker. Yes, I am. Beautiful. I'm Wanna a fellow be? filmmaker. Telefilmmaker? Yeah, I'm, I'm using live stream as state of the art filmmaking. Oh, really? You're live to the world right now. <laughs> Talk, boys. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> we filmmakers are such hams in front of the camera, I must say. So you're a true filmmaker because <laughs> yeah. you are a ham. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> you're making me all shy now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So it's bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> Yes, brother. Congratulations on this journey. You want to say anything to the world? Um, no, not, nothing that I can think of right now. Because you're live. Yeah, oh, really? You want to say something in your native language? Uh, what's your quick quick? That's all I can say. I, I lost my voice. In, I lost my voice to, for the past week. Okay. Uh, you carried that flag proudly. Yeah, thank you. I will. Would you like to say something to the world? You're live to the world. Hi. <laughs> you want to say something in your language? <laughs> What's your name? How old are you? Nine. <laughs> what was that? 19? 19. Where are you from? Womenji. Womenji, how far is that? After Sassamay. After Sassamay. I think we got a new host. You want to be the host? You can be the host today. I'm 24 years old. I'm Max Picasso from Lac Nice. I'm 20. I'm 20 years old. Yar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that again! <laughs> Mark! <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> Seems to be we're all cousins! <laughs> oh, it's so cold, man! What the? Hello. <laughs> Uh, we're live streaming to the world right now. For real? Yeah. Hundreds and hundreds of people watching live. Hello. Oh. Do you want to say something in your language? Konnichiwa. <laughs> Anya. Oh, as my language is Koe. Oh. it mean? <laughs> right smoke away from there, please. Oh. Go over that Ooh. way. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hello. <laughs> 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 
Keep trying, everybody. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on va exploser là-dedans. How long have you been on the journey? Okay. Um, I start uh, March 7th. Aleximo. Nice. Do you want to say something in your native language? There's a lot of niche viewers. Invited to talk to Chief Spence is here, folks. Chief Spence. Do you feel reassured that there's now a, a new uh, Aboriginal Affairs Minister? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't really uh, paid attention to him, but I'm hoping that you know with this uh, new minister will really listen to us and really. Um, Look at the, understand the history what happened, but not to focus too much on the history in the past, but to move forward and uh, look at the, the future with you know positive and, um, and teamwork. Not okay. to say. No more for now. Thank you. Don't get us started. Hi, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Okay, okay. Where are you from? Let's bounce. Oh yeah, okay. She'll be speaking later on today on Parliament Hill, folks. <laughs> That's a lot of viewers. How many viewers we have? Uh, 
million. Close to a thousand on six continents, over 70 countries watching live. Wow. Say hi, Teresa. <laughs> Teresa. Say hi, live. You're, you're live to the world in over 70 countries. You've inspired all this. <laughs> well, I'm really inspired by the youth. You know, they're so determined. They don't give up hope. And um, they really walk on the land saying this is our land and we're proud of our land. And we respect the Mother Earth and the Mother Earth is there for us. So, you know, just seeing them walk on the land it shows that you really uh, honor their traditional ways of life and not to give up. And you have inspired us. And thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. For life. <laughs> Yeah, we got over a thousand viewers watching live. Anything you would like to say? Hi, uh, I'm from Alaska First Station. We're with Teresa here. And uh, it's very awesome. Like, it's, it's really nice. I mean, so emotional to see this. And I want to thank the youth, uh, the walkers. Yeah. So I got four youths here from Alaska too. Yeah. Thank you. You want to, there's a lot of niche viewers. You want to say something in your native language? What did I say? Atamos ka tanasian. Bigas. Okay, bigas. Thank you. I don't know more. Yes. Oh my God. Hey. Come on, get in your moccasins. Go, go. I, I can't. I'm, I'm a ninja. <laughs> There's over a thousand viewers. <laughs> Just on our channel, but then Occupy Wall Street, London, England, a whole bunch of them are mirroring us. Oh, yeah? Restreaming us. So. I see. You want to say anything to the world? No, no, I'm good. Okay, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Hey. <laughs> Ah, oh, Christmas. <laughs> 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 What was that? 
After we're done eating, we're going over to the Sacred Fire to start walking to Parliament. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Yar. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, folks, I'm just gonna. I need a table space to change batteries, but I won't go down because we have an external power supply. But I need to. Oops. Um. Okay. Okay, there we go, we're plugged in. Ah, Where's my suit? Did you see Johnny or did he go for a walk? What's that? I don't know if I want me to. It's <laughs> not Okay. It's poisson. Eh? It's not It's Okay, folks, I'm gonna. Change the battery and I'm plugged in externally so hopefully I do not go down. There's one battery. Uh, Okay. The battery. Woo! Wow, that was very good, folks. We got fresh three-hour battery. Courtesy of the external power supply. So, okay, I'm unplugging the external power supply, and okay, good. Okay, folks. Okay, folks, thank you for your patience. We uh, have a fresh three hour battery and uh, just installed, and we have an external power supply that'll do us for another six hours as well. So we're loaded for bear on. Uh, on uh, battery power and we aim to be live streaming uh, until the day's festivities are done hey go check out the parliament there's more to come i know yeah. i know <laughs> right, we're gonna be here all day it is uh 136 in the hey, i forgot to get your card the last time it's uh oh, before the day's out uh, you can find me okay, on occupied around. toronto yeah, okay. live stream occupied I'm, toronto oh yeah i'm i'm d d yeah as in abc d 
Megwitch. Yeah, I've never seen you on the 21st of December there and 28th. Hey, hi. We meet again. Hi. Good. Great day today. Oh, beautiful. Check this out. Yeah, hey, Check we got two. Hey, where, 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 where? Check this out. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Bought it, lady. You can get them here. There's a yeah. lady around. Oh, we're nice. We're supposed to wear them all at the farm. <gasps> Nice. Is there a Celebrate. website people can go to? Uh, yeah, well, there's a website for the journey. Celebration journey of culture. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What's your world? Yes. Nineteen. Jimmy Wina. <laughs> no, you can speak in your native language. There's a lot of niche viewers. Look at that. How'd you? It's not so long. I've been nice yet. I don't even want a panda. All right. <laughs> Too bad we're not eating bear meat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a lot of people are already making their way to the next phase is we're marching to Parliament Hill and lots of speakers lined up including Chief Theresa Spence, Chief Atlio, uh, a lot of the Nishu youth are going to be speaking as well on tap today. Um, after the speeches at Parliament Hill, uh, the Nishu um, will hold a press conference somewhere on the hill, uh, which we will be live streaming that in its entirety. It's uh, about 1.40 in the p.m. here. Everything's slated to go till this is a sacred fire. I'm not going to live stream the sacred fire. Um, I'm going to pan over to here and uh, <coughs> it's scheduled to end around 5 and we're going to give you coverage of all that. I'm going to go uh, see some of the drummers, some of the festivities of people getting ready to march to 1.2 kilometers. We're right behind Parliament Hill and we're going to go up Wellington uh, right to Parliament Hill. And there's going to be lots of dancers, lots of drummers. I saw a lot of big drums today. Uh, and a lot of hand drums, but the big drums. Uh, the march is starting, folks. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh. Yes, the march is officially begun. And because of all these people, the snow is very packed, so less slippage. Okay, folks, the march to Parliament Hill has started. And we got a fresh three hour battery, perfect. Just the way I planned it. Oh, excuse me, sorry. This is where we are. Excuse me. 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 Excuse
me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Thank you. Okay, now The sun's coming out? Yay! Oh well, over a thousand plus people here, that's for sure. Now, folks, I just want to forewarn you. Twice when I was doing out on the more events here, at this part of the bridge, I got jammed by the police on December 21st and January 28th out on the more. So I just want to forewarn you. Now, I did two events here last Thursday, Friday, and I wasn't jammed. I just want to warn you, it, it might not happen, but for some reason, I get jammed at this part by the police jammers. But maybe today they might not. I just want to forewarn you that maybe. Okay. Go and help me um, make sure everybody maintains and I'll go get the I just need everybody to hold up here. Hold up here, please. We're going to bring the drum up. I don't know more. Yes. Journey up the shield. Thank <laughs> you.
Yeah. Sure, man, I'm sure I'm not I'm sure I'm not sure I'm not I'm sure I'm not 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 sure I'm We're waiting for the drummers to come to the front. walk to Parliament Hill and on the way we'll walk by the National Library, the Bank of Canada, the Supreme Court, the Canadian Senate building, Prime Minister's office, who's in Toronto handling some panda bears and we end up less than a kilometer away to Parliament Hill where I'm sure quite a number of people are meeting and there's a long list of uh, speeches. So we will be covering that. I hear all these loons. Certainly lots of mainstream media. Certainly you're gonna get small minute or two sound bites. Unlike the live stream here, you're watching it live, folks. We're scheduled to live stream till five o'clock straight through and beyond, wherever it leads us. And I think on Parliament Hill I can even pirate some power. Yar! AC that is, instead of the DC we're using now. <laughs> Look at this. It's quite amazing. Uh, even though it's being led, we're at the front. Right here, there's more people that's press. 
People along the routes walking on the sidewalk. We will be led in to Parliament Hill. We're passing by the National Library. Bank of Canada coming up. Supreme. I'm only two blocks away from Parliament Hill. Oops. Are we back? Okay. Uh, are we back there, Fred? Let me know, Fred. I think we're back. Right, Fred? Are we back? Thank you, five horses. Okay, thank you. Just a momentary. Again, like I said, the big I don't know more rallies, we always get jammed. I'm glad that was just momentarily. I will, uh, <laughs> Look at this solidarity. Look at this inspirational story of the ages. about two little blocks from Parliament Hill. Supreme Court. enough for that. <laughs> We're walking on Wellington Street, which is the address of Parliament Hill. Here in Ottawa, the nation's capital, the colonial capital.
Wow. Hey, hey, how's it going? Good, how are you doing? Good, bro? good. Yeah. It's going live? Uh, over a thousand people. Yeah. 70 yeah. countries. Oh, yeah. That's just on ours. Yeah. We're being mirrored by Global Revolution. It's off by Wall Street. This is off by tomorrow, actually. Oh, okay. And uh, all kinds. We're being re mirrored. So many places worldwide. Fourth place, Foster. Thank you, thank you. Woo! Where did an issue I like to walk a fast pace? I guess when you walk 1500 kilometers. Oh, yeah. Holy moly, there's so many people waiting on the sidewalks. Waiting up Parliament Hill. Almost at Parliament Hill. <laughs> I must say, they do walk a fast pace. I guess that's how you walk 1500 kilometers. Parliament Hill, folks. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, brother, watch that dog. That's right, they reach Ontario for the first time in their trek.
Colonial capital. Oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. In the background, that building in the middle is the Prime Minister's office, folks, where he's feeding the panda bears. <laughs> He'd rather feed the panda bears. Yeah. He took off because he knew we were coming. That's it. He's scared of the youth. <laughs> yeah. <It's> an issue. <laughs> Parliament Hill, folks. We're here at the corner of Metcalf and Mullington. They are here. Mainstream Media, CBC. Traditional. Ottawa Gatineau. Oi. Okay, they're turning on to Parliament Hill. They're here, folks. This is where they wanted to be all the time. into a little pull. We're here. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay. Holy moly, there's so many people already waiting here. They're here, folks. We got a whole slew of speakers lined up. This is the real end of the track. I don't think in their wildest dreams they expected all this. Woo! Woo! 
Here Look at that reception. Standing proud, flying the colors, the treaties, the flags.
I'm gonna ask some of the people on the stage, please, to uh, get in the floor for the walkers for some reason. I don't think they're coming up. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Drum. Brothers and sisters, there's no word to describe the pride we feel today as Aboriginal people. We will see all of us that make the journey. Thank you very much. Now as your MC, my name is Harry Snowboy. Hi. As we always, as it was our custom, that the original inhabitants of this area, the Algonquin people, I'd like to ask a representative from this area to welcome us to the homeland. I'd like to call upon Chief Gilbert White Dock of Milwaukee. Please come to the States and say a few words. I know. I'm live to over a thousand people worldwide. Thank you, brother. Thank you. You're a lot kinder than the press. Oh, 
stage here. Uh, we have a representative from the Algonquin Nation that one needs to uh, speak to the people. So uh, if you uh, please kindly uh, uh, thank you very much. Can you hear all the cameras? Can you just please move? Yeah. Can you please move? Yeah. Take a step back, folks. In media. Yeah. Media back up. Media back up. Media back up. I'm wedged in here until they move. Yeah, one more. Can we clear the front of the mic, please? One more step. One more step there, media. Oh. Everybody here can't see. Ah, can't. It's impossible. Wayne, welcome to everyone to Unseated on Surrender, Algonquin Anishinaabe land. We welcome you to this place that is called Parliament 
land that are still owned by the Anishinaabe people that the Creator that the Creator has given us the responsibility to take care of these lands. On behalf of the Kitagon Zibi Anishinaabe First Nation community, I want to welcome the original six tree walkers and all those who joined along the way of this extraordinary journey. Nation are proud of your most motivated commission to achieve your goal. You have demonstrated through your actions go that the you, ancient okay? values, the ancient teachings remain alive and no one can take them away. <laughs> your journey was one of hope and change. Your journey was for unity and for motherhood. You have led the way not by words, not by words, but by action. You have led true determination, and through this determination, you have demonstrated true courage that inspires all of us. I stand here with some of the youth of Kitigan Zibi and also the Kokong and members of the Anishinaabe Nation because today is a gift of the Creator, as is every second of our lives. You, the walkers, we, the people, have unleashed a positive, unified thinking that will build on the foundations of all of our ancestors. All Canadians now know what you, the Indigenous youth, what we as nations can do and will do. You have become this change, a change field fueled with courage and hope that must now continue and let's not, let us not allow it to be diluted by anyone, whatever it is. Let us continue to stand together in unity. Let us stand unified as indigenous nations with all that belong to all of these nations all of you that have walked have been great teachers to all people all people who seek justice you have made your ancestors okay. our ancestors okay. and those yet unborn very be allowed to, to die okay. So We're back, folks. Okay, uh, we're gonna. Uh, some people are gonna hold up the camera. People in their shoulders, maybe. There's too many of them here. Yeah. We can't see so, any of the speakers. Uh, speaker, brush off my chair. Just so you know, okay. none of the cameras can get you. That's the point of us. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Come on, come on. Leave him alone. Leave, okay. leave him alone. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to have a song from the Tuscany drummers. The singers from all uh, Nine Creek communities that are sitting on their drum. So I'm going to ask them to sing a song while we wait for our next speaker. Maybe I'll give us two push ups, boys. Thank you very much. I'm going to ask the original seven walkers to come and line up behind me. And please uh, make way for the, uh, for the walkers. We're going to have, we're going to introduce them one by one and they're going to have a chance to uh, say, uh, share a few words with you. Yeah, he has to come true, Angel. I got, I got him right here. He's right here behind. It's not me. So uh, I'm going to say some word uh, names here like sardines, yeah. that are, that are uh, the speakers on this list. To, uh, I'm going to ask them to come up. One by one, David Kawapit, uh, Jordy Rupert, Raymond Baju Kawapit, Stanley George Jr., like sardines here. Travis George, Jordan Masti, 
Johnny Abraham, Isaac Kawapit, the White Wizard as they call him. Mary Tukatuk, Philip Rupert, Shana Wesley, Alice Griffin. Sorry, I gotta get out of here. Jenny Ann Blackman, Tara Diamond Jolly, Benjamin Kapsi Sid, Baron Loon, Patricia Otterize, Bianca Apache, Steve Papati, Kyrene Rat, Sequoia Jerome, Ryder Cote, Natalie Mathias, Michael Paulson, Edmund Etherington, <coughs> National uh, Chief Sean Ashut Athrio, Grand Chief Matthew Kunkum, Josue Picard, Vice AFN Chief, Romeo Shagnash, MVP MP, Chief Trees of Spence. The elders come up. So these are the people on the list that are uh, scheduled to speak. So uh, I'm going to ask the uh, speak uh, the, the singers to uh, sing a uh, song. If two push-ups, please. Go ahead. much singers. Oh, careful. Uh, who we have here today is uh, one of our elders from uh, Cree Nation of uh, Lopmaxtu, uh, Matthew Notatskon, who's, our, uh, who's our, one of our spiritual elders from up north. And he speaks only uh, the language of Cree, so I've asked him to, uh, to honor us with a few words. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to translate what he says I'm going to do the best that I can because in our language there sometimes it's uh, it's very di di dis difficult to translate into English because our language is something that truly does come from the heart so I'm going to ask him to to say a few words Matthew no that's one Sport <laughs>
Ja sta vai nu mie ai tăi. Ja ce tu ai tăi. Ja ai tăi 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 o șim și de. O șim și de gândă tăi e. Că văd tăi tăi. Că văd tăi 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 tăi. Că văd tăi 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 tăi. Că văd tăi 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 tăi. Că văd tăi 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 tăi. Că văd tăi 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 tăi. Că văd tăi 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 Ale mnoho dějů, ale tady jsou mnoho. Už kvůli čemu? Až jiný tři kvůli tři. 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 We'd like to give a thanks to the Creator for bringing his grandchildren, the walkers, and for taking care of them to arrive at this place. And for seeing so many people come and welcome them and give their support, he wants to give his thanks to all of you. And he says, when they first started, when I saw them, Depart as I watched them leave. It truly touched my heart, he said. So I'm very humbly giving thanks to the Creator for it, for everything he says. Thank you very much, Anir. Thanks, all of you. So the next one on the list, I want please uh, I want you to please make your way up here. This young man was had the vision. His name is David Kawapit. From North Pakistan. Do you want to speak? And he said, you know, his grandmother. I'm going to do this walk. And I, I'm humbled. I, there's no words to describe it. Let him tell you. His journey, from his own words, on David. It's hard on all of us. Stāvu mētam saskatīs tajā to. Es sāt atēc, ka... ...kāti... ...kā viņu būtu tam kaut kā. Ja... ...kāti mēs sāt kā būtu tāds, būtu tā sāt. Tā vēl nav cītā tā no tu jau... ...kā kā atstāt. Tu jau līdz šo to jā, jo. Tu jau pēc šātā, ko tā kā es šo, ko atstāt to jā. Tā būtu tāds. He just wants to thank all of you, and again, he is very humbled to see a lot of a lot of you out there for all your support. Yeah, man. When he decided to walk, come here, he had a lot of support from his from his uh, brothers, sisters, and he said without them he wouldn't been able to make this journey. So he really gives his gratitude to all of them and to all of you. Tā vēl nestīšam sēdēm, tā nebūtu šajā nākāks. Tā nebūtu jāiet, ka tā nebūtu jāiet. Tā vēl nebūtu izstājāt. Tā vēl esmu tā, man dzīstā, nāc kā šim stīm, ja tagad vēl tagad no. Ārgu būtu nīstam, man būtu tā no. He says there is no words to describe how I feel. The tremendous pride I feel, the happiness, but also the, the emotion I can't, the other's emotion that I can't describe. And he says, this is not the end. This will continue. But we started with a walk, he says. So he wants to thank all of you, and he loves all of you.
Hayır lan dinç oldun ha hadi ya Bringing to everyone Now the next speaker on the list Oh uh, we need water for the uh, for the walkers please can uh, can you bring water up to the stage Not all of you at once just maybe those people that are asked to bring water And Okay, we're going to give uh, two minutes each to the to the speakers because there's a lot of uh, names on the list. So the next one we're going to ask to come up is Jordy Rupert Singh. Uh, it's from the same community of Boxo, one of the original seven. So we're going to ask him to come up. Watch out. Greetings, he says. I want to thank all of you for coming here and showing all your support for the walkers. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all the support that was shown to us along the way. He says, I can't describe how I feel. I am so touched by seeing all of you. I'm struggling with my emotion to cry, he says. So I want to thank all of you and I, I love you all. Thank you very much. <laughs> Raymond Baju Kawapit, same community with Maksu. As you can see, they're very uh, shy. Can I get by, actually? I'm very I'm gonna call honored out. to be here. I truly didn't you think go I would make this. Down under. I wouldn't complete this journey. I'm, I'm dealing so. with this guy. He's totally blocking me. I know. He's an idiot. Hold on. I'm just coming. I'm live to the world. There's a little girl here. Excuse me, little girl. I don't know more live stream. Uh-oh, now we... Shoot. I took this walk for, uh, for my own healing to find strength in my life. And he talks about the challenges that, that he feels in his life. So that's why uh, he took this walk. On February 6th, I lost my brother. And when I went to go see my, my grandmother, she told me, when a person makes his journey, as our ancestors have always done, when, he, when they take that journey, when they walk across the land, that's where they will find healing. And that's why, for myself, I took this journey. I thought I was alone in my grief when I first started out. And as I, as I started meeting the people that came along on this journey, I found out too that they were grieving for their own family, for their for the brother that they've lost. Excuse me, I'm going to crouch on the floor. 
Good thing this is it. Let's go, go, go. Sorry, I'm just gonna crouch down. Thank you so much. And now I I started to find that healing set. And he's on his way. I want to thank all of you for all uh, for your support and, and uh, for all of you to come here today. <laughs> now the next one, Stanley George Jr. from uh, well, Max Loop. Your senior. <laughs> I will speak for my boy. Greetings, all my relations and all my relatives, brothers and sisters. Gotcha. Um, he says, we have to continue to stand united and supporting each other in unity, we will gain strength. <laughs> and he wants to thank our 84-year-old grandmother back home that's been looking over and watching over these young people as they travel throughout our country. Agada. So the next speaker will be Travis George from Omaxo First Nation. He wants to thank each and every one of you, to all the supporters and to everyone that believe in this journey. He is very grateful and he wants to thank his grandfather for being there and for taking the responsibility to be the official keeper of the original seven and to all the youth that have embarked on this journey. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Mr. Travis George. He wants to thank all of you. As Harry said, we are very isolated and we are very shy. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Isaac 
Kawapit. Nickname is White Wizard. And maybe who? Matthew what? Oh, no. Matthew. <laughs> Greetings. I want to thank all the youth that started on this journey for us, the original seven. I want to thank them for the support and everything that they've done. And I thank the ones that also started on this journey with us in the communities along the way. I just want to give my thanks to them. I don't think we would have completed this journey without all the support without all the walkers that came and supported us. I want to give them my thanks. And he wants to thank all of you. And by the way, he's holding the mic. I can tell he's a singer. Thank you very much, he says. So the next one will be Travis George. Oh, you already have. <laughs> Again? So Jordan Masty from Wall Box Two First Nation. Johnny, Johnny, go up in first. Yeah, Jordan. Johnny, Johnny Abraham. Oh. Oh. Sorry. That's not a word. He's just saying oh. しゃあ、しゃあ、なしこうなお。おやじ。わしか。おわち。しゃあ、いたぶ。しゃあ、いたぶ。あ、かっちゃ、しなくしな。おしゃあ、よ。え、しぶつたんくしゃあ、めんど
Отвертность, скорее всего, нет. Я сядь силу нет. We have opened the door, the gate, for our young people, for the next generation of First Nations people, Cree, Eo, Anishinaabe, Mohawk. That door is now open for our young people, and it is them that have carried that. They have opened that gate so that the teachings of our ancestors can be brought through that door and be carried on and passed on for our children. Through that, through that, we will understand and begin to love and respect and speak for Mother Earth. Thank you. Thank you very, thank you very much. So the person with the headdress. So uh, the person with the headdress, his name is Stanley George. I forgot to uh, mention him. Mention him. I'm just, as everybody else, I'm so overwhelmed by, by all of this. By the presence of the walkers that started on this journey. So the next person. It's not the Russell, it's Yossi! Live warts and all. Those are not the Russell batteries. <laughs> Live warts and all, folks. <laughs> okay, so ne our next speaker <coughs> is from the same community of Oxford. Johnny Abraham. that started up over 1,500 kilometers. Her name is Abby. <laughs> Abby Nasty. So I'm going to ask her to come on to the stage. But also there is a gift that will be presented to her. And I'm going to ask the uh, families, the sisters and spirit to come on stage. They're already here. And they want to present happy with this gift. So I'm going to move aside and I'm, I'll let them go uh, and present the gift. Present the gift.
if I can do it. My mom asked me why I wanted to walk. I said, I want to help people because of all the women that are suffering and elders. Women need to heal as a nation. We can heal together. We also need to respect the wisdom of our elders. Thank you all for your support. Hello, bonjour. Welcome to Idle No More, Journey of the Nishu Walkers. Yay! My name is Bridget Tolley. I'm from Families and Sisters in Spirit. We want to welcome everyone here today and especially thank Abby for walking for our missing and murdered sisters. Um, I don't know more is not just about taking care of the water, the land, the pipelines and everything. It's also about human beings. Without us, there wouldn't be nobody to take care of this. So we need to come together, the men, the women, and the youth, and our babies. We are the life givers. And we need to bring in these babies. These are our youth. These are the next generation. So we want everybody to continue to look for our sisters that are still missing and to honor the ones that are gone to the spirit world. So miigwech for being here today. And we have a song and the gifts of these flags for them too. We, we want to um, present Abby with this gift. It's a gift. It's a blanket to keep her warm on those nights up north when it's cold. And I want to say a great big miigwech to Abby for walking proud for all our sisters, all our missing and murdered sisters. Miigwech, Abby. I want to thank uh, the sisters in spirit. So uh, we're going to ask, uh, I'm going to ask Mary to uh, please come to stay the stage. Oh, 
Mary, thank you, Dad. From good traffic. It's the old lady starting from Chesapeake, walking all the way to Ottawa. And I'm the mom of Mary. I'm really proud of her. Mary starts off by saying that she never thought she would complete this journey. My cousin, we're all cousins actually. Philip <laughs> Rupert. I started this journey from my own community, Tisasibi, Quebec, and I never expected how tough this journey would be. With support, respect, the love is the only way we can succeed when we want to make a stand for each other, for all, for all. Nothing was left here for us, nothing was given. Everything the Creator gave us, He gave us the strength to overcome any challenge, any barrier that's in our path. Thank you everyone, let's continue to work together, let's work in diplomacy and unity, this is how we will succeed into making a stand for our rights. But yeah, I just want to introduce, I mean, I just want to steal the spotlight for uh, 30 seconds. I just want to give an uh, honorable mention to the youth of Chisasibi. When our kids, when our youth, six youth and the white wizard left our community, some of our elders feared and some people had doubts because it was minus 54 when they left our community and it was the coldest month of the year. January and February are the harshest months. But today, 
we have seen when the young people believe in themselves when it, when they have the will to succeed they can go very far and today we have seen it look how far they travel <laughs> When they left, they thought they would walk alone with seven guys. We did not expect the tremendous support we had seen from the community of Chisasevi. And without those, without those young people, Philip, Rene, and all the young people from Chisasevi, without them, I, I think, I believe that our young people would have given up on this journey because it was so tough on the first segment of this journey. And I just want to thank them. Thank you to the youth of Chisasimi. Thank you very much. And that's how the original seven, they are known. That's how they wanted me to tell the world that they are equal. Their brothers and sisters that have walked with them. They don't want to be treated more special. They don't want to be treated differently. They want to be treated as equals because they have walked with everybody in unity. Now the next speaker we have on the list is Shana Wesley from the Ninja First Nation. She's kind of shy, so uh, please put your heads down, don't look at her. Greetings to all. My name is Shayna Wesley, and I'm from Womenji. I am just one to come by emotion by seeing all of you here in support.
I'm going to ask for a song before the next speaker. Usually in times when we are, we are filled out of emotion, emotion and when we are, we are overcome by it, sometimes we have to take a break and ask for that healing to come. And as little people, we, are, we will rely on the song that comes from our ancestors. So I'm going to ask the, the singers to sing a song to think about that healing. And I ask all of you to pray and remember the people that we have lost through suicide, that the healing of our nations will, will begin. So I'm going to push up sports. I'm very proud of each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. 
See, um, she wants to thank all the walkers. There were so many times that they faced challenges that people wanted to give up. But it, they persevered. And she wants to thank the parents that led their children on this journey. The youth on this journey. She wants to thank them. And she saw all the all the help that they received from them. From all the communities that they walk through. And that that's what really touched her heart was the support, was the unity that she saw among all people. Not only the people that took on this journey, but amongst all people. So she is, really doesn't have any words to share. It's just that, that she wants to thank all of you. And uh, I'm very proud of all the walkers. He says, that's it. Thank you very much. So the next speaker is Jenny Ann Blackman. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to bring uh, good? Tara Diamond Jolly. You missed everything here. Okay, we. Uh, I see. I see. Uh, I see Jenny Ann there. Okay. Yeah. Please make your way so uh, so we can. Jenny Ann Black. I want to thank all of you for uh, for coming. I want to talk about the more of the sure uh, challenges that we faced, the hardships, and that if it wasn't for that unity, that spirit of unity that we had on all of us, I don't think we would have uh, arrived today. And I see so many of you out there that come from a long way to come and share your support. So I want to thank all of you too. This is not the end. It's only the beginning. I want to make some announcements before the next uh, speaker. There will be a feast tonight at the Ottawa Ottawa Native Friendship Center and at the Bronson Center. Bring food and gifts. And tomorrow, there's going to be a youth forum on uh, 225 Preston Street. Tomorrow at 9 a.m., the youth forum. So, uh, Please note, for your notes, please uh, remember. What time? Yeah. Tomorrow. 9 a.m. tomorrow, you have to work. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, then our next speaker is Tara Diamond Jolly.
from Nemska First Nation. She, uh, she invited her friends from the other communities from Nemska and the to come and stand with her. And uh, she, she, thought, uh, she asked her partner to join her in this, uh, this journey. And she thought about the youth. She also thought about the next generation that, that will benefit from this, this history in the making. Roger Orr, thank you very much. Those are Steve's you each other. Sergio, Tatsito, thank you. As you uh, heard, uh, she wants to thank Roger Orr, one of the people that uh, were on this journey. So she wants to give her thanks to all the walkers that came along. And the next person on the, uh, on the agenda is Benjamin Kapsisit from Ojibwe First Nation. Benjamin Captain Simmons and Asano Jabon with Elder Shirt on speed. Is that? And you ask Martin and go down this bridge. See the Evan Pair and Asko is teaching like in the CIs. Evan Pair and you. Yes, she and Gardens. The way Pony and Asko is the big I don't <laughs> 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 Just to give you a brief, we want to thank uh, all the people that supported them in this journey, the logistics, for giving them a place to sleep. And he says, I, don't, I can't really uh, 
I'm just overcome with emotion, so I'm, I'm, I'm really unable to, to talk, so I just want to give this thanks to all those that supported this journey. So the next one we have, Darren Loon from Mist City. Greetings to all of you. My name is Darren Luna. I'm from Mist City. I'm really happy to see all of, all of you here. A lot of Aboriginal people have come in to show their support. He's just really happy and he's just really overcome with emotion. <laughs> I'm really happy that we made her arrival! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I want to thank all of you. The next one we have is Patricia Otterise from Oswanaki First Nation. Just one step to your right. Please. I can't go further than that. Go to the back of her right. Come back. Read this in English. We, the youth of the Fonfi Inuj, have come to deliver a message. We have worked to deliver a message when snowshoes from far distance. Just like our forefathers and grandmothers have done before us. We are a proud nation. We have come in peace, in unity. Unity for nation, unity for all Canadians. Unity for creeks and race who be as one. Long live Nishio. Right on, right on. So the next speaker we have is Bianca Apache from Washoe City, First Nation. Never in my life I would ever thought I would be smart. speaking on the Parliament Hill. <laughs> oh, God. First of all, I want to thank God because without God, we wouldn't be here. Without God, we wouldn't have the strength to walk every day. There's so many inspiring youth in this group that you guys wouldn't even believe the stories I would have to tell you. They inspire me. I always never really thought of myself as someone really important. But when I joined this group, 
I felt so important. I felt so loved, so accepted. And this is my son. This is the reason why I'm walking. or else we wouldn't be here. All I have to say, I'm so honored to be here and so overwhelmed with joy that I got to know these youth. And, oh God, there's so many words I would like to say because I have a big mouth, you know, and I can't stop talking. <laughs> Take the time to respect the youth and teach them and sit down with them. Listen to them because they are our future. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Wow. I can't wait to you become a chief. Thank you very much. The rules really touched all of us, huh? from Kitigasigik First Nation. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm not an alto uncle speaker as you all know. So we're uh, we're honored to have the original inhabitants of this area, the Algonco Nation from the Algonco Nation. They're gonna come up and they're gonna say a few words. So the first one to speak is Steve Papati. Quelqu'un, mon frère, 
For the last century, we have come to the conclusion that there was only one thing wrong in our relationship the lack of respect. We cannot judge you for the past wrong, it is not part of a culture. What is part of a culture is to find out what went wrong, find the cause of the problem, and apply a permanent solution. We do this in really something. We are prepared to show you how this is done. Our culture is based on four basic principles we call the medicine way. We are love, caring, sharing, and respect. The opposite of our agent, abuse, greed, and disrespect. Love must be, love must be unconditional. But if you stand it with judgment, you cannot walk its magic. Caring will break down fear of the one person and build true relationship, true friendship. Sharing will strengthen the friendship. Respect will enable us to listen to each other so we can find a common ground. We also desperately need to resolve all the other things. The time has come for us to carry a talking cycle. We a talking stick and begin the healing journey so that future generations can live in harmony with each other and with nature. Let's go out! Thank you very much. 
And then our next speaker is Dan Ratt. I'm going to make my way to the stage. I wrote this speech two hours ago and it all comes from my heart. I'd like to thank the seven walkers that started this journey and the road runners that helped us set our camps and keep us warm. And everybody that joined the journey from each community. To all my brothers and sisters, my name is Tyan Rat. I'm 16 years old. I'm a Gonquin. I live in Rapid Lake, also known as Fire Lake. I am here to support and represent to all humanity. I started walking from Rapid Lake two weeks ago. I joined this journey to represent my community and to support one another for, for the journey of all nations to come together as one big family. Our elders have told us that our Mother Earth is being destroyed. Animals are disappearing and that is why our people has come together on this journey. To have our voices heard for survival of way of life. My parents' generation continue to use, occupy our traditional territory. And we, young generation, will continue to learn from the land. Miigwech. Speaker is Fiona Jerome from Maximo. Hey, gentlemen, can you make a, a little room for this guy here? Just a bit. Go, go, go. Yes, you can. There you go. I mean, he can do it. Say hello to them. Whatever you want to say, English, French, no matter what, you say. Thank you. 
So we have a speaker here, his name is Ryder Cote. Hi, my name is Ryder Cote. I'm from Kitty God ZB, I'm 12 years old. I walk from Kitty God ZB to Ottawa. I started Thursday. And I'd like to thank to the seven original walkers for bringing all the communities together as one. I also want to thank them because I wouldn't have had this experience of this amazing journey. Every step I took, it was a prayer for Mother Earth, unity, and all the Algonquins around the world. And all the people too. I want to thank also two people who followed me along the way. Bure and Sokena. No matter how slow I walked, they followed me to the end. Be good. Thank you very much. I'm going to go through the list of names of the names that are people that are scheduled to speak. The next one we have here is Natalie Mathias, Michael Polson, Edmund Everington. National Chief Sean Apio, Matthew Kumkum, Grand Chief, Jesse Picard, Romeo Shagnas, Chief Teresa Spence. We have Melder from Council of Elders. That's so we have these names, and I want to ask these people just to uh, get ready. We're going to give our speakers about two minutes to speak. So uh, our next speaker is Matthew. My name is Natalie Mathias. I'm from Long Point First Nation. I'm in Ozonka. I am uh, joining this journey to uh, when I start when I was preparing myself to join the journey. I had my granddaughter beside me. She was watching me as I prepared my luggage to leave. She looked at me and she said, Grandma, are you going to Michigan? I told her yes. I often take her with me in the bush. And she asked, she asked me if she could come along. I told her I'm going on a long journey. And uh, that she couldn't come with me at this time. But I was walking for her and the future youth to come. It hurt me to tell her at this time that she could not come with me when all the times I have taken her with me in the bush to show her how we live, how we survive, what her animals We have many teachings out there along the way in our journey. We shared, we used our traditional ways of life. I 
I would like to thank the seven original who have started this journey. Without them, we have not we wouldn't have been here today. And during my journey, as I walked, sometimes I felt alone. But when I picked up my flag, I thought about my people. Back home, the struggles that we face in our community, not just my community, all communities. We all face the same challenges. And today we've come together to share and to voice our concerns and to let everyone know that we are all equal, we are all one, and we are all here to unite. I say miigwech to every each and one of you for standing and believing in us that we could make make it here. Miigwech. Thank you very much. So our next speaker is from Gajikmaj First Nation, named Michael Post. You might have to move the mic up. What's your name? Sorry. <laughs> um, I just want to thank everybody. Surprise to me, my mom. everybody for uh, all our support and uh, what's it going to do? We're almost down to the last two uh, the walkers and I want to th thank, say thanks to the, uh, to the, uh, to the members of uh, the game place here for their patience. I know uh, they've been standing there waiting to speak. They have schedules to meet and I'm, I'm glad they stayed. I mean how can you say to people that walk 1500 kilometers to no, to hurry up. <laughs> uh, I can't say that to them. And they're, but they're here. They've been very patient. And they realized the commitment that was taken, that was given. To walk and bring the message here. So, thank you very much, Romeo, uh, McLaren. And uh, everybody's got titles. I'm the lead singer for the Sassabee Boy. <laughs> For our next speaker, Edmund.
On his journey, I learned how to speak French. <laughs> so, Sully, bonjour, comment ça va? To stand here as, as a man. As a man who cries and weep and shake and cry for people. I stood. Tree suspense. A mother who suffered with people. I stand today with the youth who suffered for the people. I cry for the people who suffer. I'm done with shame. I watch these young people and the pain they go through. I watch Teresa suffer. How much more does it have to take? How much more pain? This confusion plays today in our own communities with our leadership. My leadership is each one of you today standing there as a father, as a mother, as a brother, as a sister. You are my leaders. So I say to these men in ties today who stand here as politicians, be a man. I do not speak with anger. That's not the way we teach our kids. I speak from my heart. I cry from my heart for you people. I'm honored today to say I walk with those youth. I cry for this youth. And I ask from the bottom of my heart, each one of you to hold hands today. Please do it for me. Hold hands. Don't be ashamed to hold that person's hand beside you. Become one. It takes one to change, to change, that's how easy it is to change. As I shared with these youth, to stand up, they stood up. I say that to each one of you. Stand up. I will protect this land. My mother, Lee, 
is beneath the soil today. And I will protect it. As I will protect your ancestors lie beneath that soil too. I will cry for them too. I'm not ashamed. I ask each one of you to take something home today and share from your own home fires and worry about your own home fires and not worry about these people who walk with suits and ties who say they speak for the people but they speak for themselves I do not need feathers on my head to say I'm a leader. I stand here today with no feathers. But I am not a leader. You are my leaders. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's only, I'm lucky that I'm only here to introduce names. I stand here and try to control my own emotions. So. Our next speaker is the Grand Chief Bapi Kunka, Grand Chief of the Crees of Northern Quebec, James Bay. Paul well, Watson, uh, come up and approach the state. <laughs> to my young friends from Inoshi, to the youth of the Cree Nation, Wajia, welcome. Today my heart swells with pride to see you here. After a very long and difficult journey from the northernmost part of the traditional Cree territory, you have worked hard, you have endured, and you have succeeded in what you set out to do. You have achieved your goal, the Cree way, the Aboriginal way, with determination, with focus, and holding dear the very close values of our culture, which are the values of sharing, caring, and respect. Your journey has shown us strength and have shown that the Aboriginal youth of this country can use their energies in a positive ways, for positive goals, and in the very inspiring ways. You have inspired not only Aboriginal peoples, but you have inspired so many Canadians from coast to coast to coast. You have accomplished much more than you thought when you first began your walk from Wap Mex to over 1,500 kilometers from this place. You began your walk as an expression of sympathy to bring to the attention of the Canadians the unacceptable living conditions in far too many of our First Nation communities across this country. And you began your walk to revive the historic unity of the Aboriginal peoples in our region of Quebec. These are very important and praiseworthy objectives. With your walk, you've also done something else. You have sent a message you have sent out a loud and clear call for unity among all Aboriginal peoples. Precisely at a time when we need that unity, perhaps more than we have ever needed. You have learned well the lessons of your fathers and your mothers. You have reminded us of the importance of our core values at a time when we need to dig deeply to ensure we are well grounded 
to face the challenges of the future that lies ahead. You have reminded us also of the importance of protecting our lands and, of, and protecting our environment. It will be through, it will be only through our direct involvement in what happens on our traditional tori territories that we can ensure that what happens there takes into account the preciousness of the land, the waters and the wildlife, and takes into account the future generations who also will need the land and its resources to sustain them. We need to have the rights of Aboriginal peoples across the country recognized. And those rights need to be translated into tangible benefits for our peoples. We are reclaiming our lands in Northern Quebec and we need to send out the message that this can be done across the country. My Cree youth, you, you all deserve a well-earned rest. You have worked hard for it. I hope this walk is just a beginning for you. You have, through your journey, experienced the rewards of hard work to achieve a difficult goal. Please continue to use your energies in a positive way and to achieve honorable visions for your people and for Aboriginal peoples across the country and around the world. If you can accomplish what you have just done, you have it in you to do, to do just that. Continue to bring the attention of Canadians, not only that the current intolerable realities in, in so many First Nations communities must come to an end but also that there are solutions. Our First, our First Nations know what those solutions can look like. We have examples of such solutions in Inuishji, in Northern Quebec, and other places in Canada. Canadians must know that we can together put into places those practical and achievable solutions which can help for the benefit of everyone. And more importantly, we can together ensure the kind of social harmony which brings pride to us all. There is there's a choice to be made in this country. We can now continue to follow a path of exclusion which will only lead to further conflict and social turmoil. Or we can, on the other hand, embark on a path of inclusion in which Aboriginal rights and Aboriginal cultures are embraced as a unique part of the fabric of this country. And it is through that genuine inclusion that we can find the means by which we can, together, inhabit this land in peace and friendship and prosperity. It is in all these ways, my young friends, that you have inspired us and it is in all these ways that you are showing the way. And we thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much, Matthew. Our next speaker, Sean Aishik Atmio. I hope I said that right. Amongst all of the accomplishment of these walkers, how beautiful is it to hear them speak their languages with pride. I want to express from my heart a depth of gratitude for all you walkers, you've etched your names in the history of this country today. <laughs> Canada has a, what they regard as a great group of artists. They call the group of seven. 
Today, the indigenous, indigenous nations have their group of seven that have lifted a flag. And I know that the original group of walkers are extremely thankful and grateful to all the walkers to hear your voices today. This was our first responsibility to listen, to thank you. Walking through minus 50, I was told their toques became like helmets. They were frozen. When they got further south, there was slush up midway through their calves. Probably be up to my thighs for some of them. <laughs> and the walkers were sharing with me from their hearts that the journey was difficult. There were moments when they wanted to give up. They were getting homesick. They wanted to be home with the grandma and the grandpa, with mom and dad. But they didn't give up. They kept going. <laughs> Walkers, you've etched your names in the history of this country, but you've threaded your names in the hearts of all Indigenous peoples from coast to coast to coast. The message that the young people have provided, peace, unity, prosperity. You heard the stories of a healing journey, the encouragement by the young people to embrace life why is it that we'd have both mature as well as a, a young eagle soaring above? Yeah. The prayer is being answered. As Grand Chief Kuhn said, there is a great choice to be made in this country. It is a journey that will be either difficult, difficult like the ones the walkers experience, where they come together in unity, they focus on an objective, and they accomplish their goals by putting everything into it. Or the other choice in this country is where we choose not to work together. That is the more difficult path. That's the path that leads to more conflict. That's the path where our people don't have proper housing, where our kids don't have proper schools, where we don't have clean drinking water. That is the more difficult path. There is a great choice to be made in this country, as the Grand Chief rightfully said. And the answer to the future, choices that must be made have been provided by none other than the young people here today. They're so often told they're the leaders of tomorrow. I'm here to say, they are the leaders of right now. They are the leaders of right now. I also want to acknowledge the members of parliament who are here. The young people are reaching out to this house behind us. They're reaching out to all Canadians. We are stronger together to the walkers from the journey of 2013. Take go, take go. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Sean, Grand Chief. I can tell you that he has a microphone. He's a former singer. Another one. So we'll have, next we'll have Sislaine Picard, Vice, Sunday First Nations Chiefs. Roger. <laughs> 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 Aujourd'hui, je veux d'abord remercier la nation Anishinaabe de nous accueillir sur leur territoire traditionnel. 
Mais le plus chaleureux du bienvenu doit très certainement aller aux marcheurs, les sept qui ont débuté leur marche et les centaines qui ont suivi par la suite. C'est à eux que nous devons notre rassemblement aujourd'hui. First thing I want to do is thank the Anishinaabek Nation. My name is Justin Picard. I'm a member of the Eno Nation. So I want to thank the Anishinaabek Nation for their welcome today. But the warmest one welcome has to go to the to the walkers of the journey of Nishiyu. And the hundreds that have joined in along the way. The first words that come to my mind are resilience and determination. Resilience because they have demonstrated to us that what connects us all is the land. And that's, how they, and that's what they have shown us. And that's what I saw when I saw the youth in Kirigan. Over 200 of them. This journey is about unity. This journey is about pursuing a dream of securing a better future for our peoples. Thank you to the youth. Although this journey has been at the start a journey of just a few, it has be become a journey for us all. Although this journey is about ourselves, as indigenous peoples and nations in this country, I have one message for this government. The governments that came before it and the ones to follow. In order to reconcile with your colonial past, you must first stop denying it. This government, the ones that came before and the ones that will come, need to embark on a journey of their own. A journey towards justice and respect for all our peoples. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, the same. Now our next. Okay. Tito. Where's the sound guy? <laughs> you gotta get there is sound. Try to get there is sound. Give me a chance to get my water. Right? <laughs> 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 No problem, I think we're right at the end.
Thank you, Tom. Well, for us, I was kind of nervous. So, uh, Mr. Romeo Shagnas, please. Where's Edmund there? Who asked us to be a man? I'll be a man today. <laughs> Bratia, the church did not, the state was suggesting in Nibuyano that Mr. New Year, New Year, New Year, Mahab, it's going to be a good day. To me, it's not. No. They beat the guns. Jeez, that is a guy. Team that did not. They can take a good word. It's better or not, they're dead on. It's going to be here to that. It's better or not, they're dead on. We sneezed it out. Much better than us. It's quite a good start. We start in there. We see that we see that we swear. Those were a couple words in Cree for my for the walkers. I told them that I spoke about them in the in the house today at question period. I want to say first, welcome to my TP. That's my TP and. A lot of my travel members are with me here today, so I want to thank them first as well. You know, our MC just mentioned that, uh, yes, we have busy schedules as MPs, uh, but yet uh, we all thought it was important to remain here and to listen to what the walkers had to say. I mean, talk. Talk about standing up and walking for your rights. So I want to thank the walkers because not only the original seven that started out way up there in Wamakshtui, but the ones that joined after as well. Because your message is a strong one. Your message will resonate for a long time. Your message. At least I heard it. I listened to it. And your message of hope, your message of, of um, strength, of unity, your extended hand of reconciliation, I see today. And that's what I'm going to bring back into that house for the rest of the time that I'll be here. Because that's what I set out to do in the first place when I decided to come here. That my own journey started when I arrived here in May 2011 as a parliamentarian. And my journey is about justice. My journey is about reconciliation between my people, our peoples, and the Canadian people. And it was fun to see and to follow these, these young kids throughout the days that they walked because every day I got up, I was proud of them because, you know what? At least they can say that they've walked the land, that, that they lived off the land. <laughs> and whenever they'll stand up in the future to defend the land, to defend the environment, to defend the people that, they, that live on these lands and environment, they can speak with authority, and there's not too many people in Ottawa that can do that today. So I want to thank them for that, and thank you for being here today. As the MC mentioned, you know, I want to, I want to express my, my, my thanks to my leader, Tom Mulcair, who's the leader of the opposition, and most definitely the next Prime Minister of this country. <laughs> And above and beyond our own schedules as MPs, his schedule is more hectic than ours as the leader of the opposition. And yet, and I heard all his helpers behind him, behind us, pressing him, pressing upon him, saying, Tom, you have to leave, we have to go, we have a schedule to follow. Yet, he stood his ground and stayed with us. So thank you, Tom. Miigwech. In the house today, I asked them one question. 
How is it acceptable that there's nothing in your budget to correct the situation that sees First Nations youth receive 30% less for their education than other Canadian children? They of course had no answer because it's totally unacceptable that First Nations youth receive 30% less for their education than other Canadian children. Alice Gilpin stood at this microphone, one of the young walkers, Alice Gilpin stood here an hour ago and she said that when they came to people's houses they opened their door and welcomed them as their own children. Romeo and I and our team want to open the doors here and receive all Canadian children with equal rights. That's our goal. <laughs> Thank you very much. I used to watch Romeo Shagner's play hockey. And uh, they say in Parliament, when you take off your jacket, it's like the same thing as taking off your gloves on the, on the ice. So I, I kind of moved away from that. Our next speaker needs no introduction. When she walks on the stage, you will clearly recognize her as one of the people that that meeting to happen. Yeah. That declaration of commitment that was signed 
it's time for the leaders to work on the deliberations. I mean, sitting down together face to face with our youth, it is their future. It's time for them to walk that journey with peace, not being, being afraid for the next day or the future. So I want to ask Danny to do a, a song for them to show to the youth for that work that you accomplished. That we're so grateful you're, you're leading us to be together and to work with the government and to work with each other. You're going to lead us that journey. And I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Jamie Island. <laughs> First of all, I would like to acknowledge God for allowing us to see life again this beautiful day. I would like to acknowledge uh, Chief Gilbert White Duck, the elders of Mountain Judicial Territory, and everybody here that are here today to uh, pay homage and respect our, our youth walkers all the way from the far north of the uh, James Bay Territory. I acknowledge all the, the help, the support that we received when I was there to help Chief Teresa Spence on Victoria Island. People, the Mi'kmaq people from out east, the Mexican people from way down south, the people from British Columbia, all the pet carriers, the northern people from Nunavut and all those, everybody. In the last month now, I bless you all and I'm going to sing a song right now. Before I forget too, uh, a lot of great speeches, a lot of great words were spoken. Now it's time to take those words into action. Oh, uh -huh. 
and sisters, we are coming to the end, but this is not the end, like the youth have said, you stated, you've heard many great speeches, leaders, but this time belongs to those that made the journey to youth, and we honor that. So I'm going to bring a youth from Muswarapi, one of the most gifted singers that I've ever met. His name is Norman. All right, and he's gonna. We're gonna close this event with a closing song, prayer song. But I would also like to mention the people that gave up their time to support the the, the walkers on this journey. Laura George from Abmaxo. Anna Chizu from East Main. The legendary Lana Philbin Twain. The youth group from the uh, organizing committee from Ottawa. Can you uh, come up, please? Marilyn Jerome. If I forgot anybody, I'm sorry. All right. Gabriel, Gabby. Sorry, I'm deaf in one ear. Just... Gabriel Herodi. So I, I really, uh, on behalf of the walkers, thank you very much for all your support. Like I said, you know, I have no words. I, I don't feel, I don't even feel worthy to be up here. We have seats, but I was honored to be asked. Well, thank you very much, man. I love you too. So next year's event will be, we'll call it uh, Team and Bennett on a Hill. We've always been a very loving people. We've always supported each other. We were never little islands on this, uh, this country that I really built. Our ancestors will remember them. Always remember you, who you are. I encourage the young people to remember this event. But enough said, and I want to get to the closing song. And I want to thank all of you for coming here. And I want to acknowledge all of our ancestors when we listen to the song that was going to be sung. Son, remember the, remember the ones that lost their lives to suicide? The 500 missing Aboriginal women you've heard about the today come up. 3,000. 3,000, somebody just said. <laughs> the people that are children that were, that were taken away, residential school. I mean, we could stand here all day and tell you what. And this goes on and on. But we will not forget. Now I'm going to ask all the, all the brothers when I have the song to take off your hats. If you're wearing a wig, you can keep it on. <laughs> so I'm going to ask uh, Norman Otherwise to come up and sing and his brother uh, Joseph. They're probably two of the most handsome men from that reserve. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, you from the Swampy. Na 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 na
much he weighed. Oh, not much he weighed. Thank you very much, Norman. Now, we're going to close off. Uh, they just told me that they're going to, the youth group, the, uh, the youth, we're going to close off with a round dance. Is this the, uh, the honor for, uh, for, the, uh, for the walkers? Oh, somebody would call Guinness Book of World Records or not the fake, uh, biggest world dance I've ever seen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce the man Chino from East Maine. So if somebody out there would just leave the round dance, just hold hands, form a big circle, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, form a big circle. Might have to go to hall. <laughs> Below the stairs. Below the stairs. Below the stairs. Do not come up the stairs, please. On the ground. For those of you that know how to float, please, put your feet on the ground. Thank you very much. A lantern? Open swing? The first. Just a little bit of logistics. For tomorrow and Wednesday's events, they will be held at 215 Preston Street. What? I don't know the exact name of the place, but it's the Marco Polo Conference Center that's first, located at 215 Preston Street. First Nation Cinema. We're providing for the forum for the walkers to share more of their journey and their stories over the next two days at this location. So. Please keep that in mind, it is 215 Preston oh, Street. Okay. And then after it is all said and done later this Thank evening, you. we will also see you at the Friendship Center. And if we cannot hold everybody at the Friendship Center, we will also see you at the Bronson Center. So I'll turn it over to Diana now. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> I'm just going to make an announcement. We found a phone. Uh, it's a uh, public mobile. It's got three eyes on it. Uh, Z. P E. Uh, it says here, please don't tell your wife I'm coming over. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I found a phone here, so if anybody uh, lost their phone, so uh, come on up. We'll just uh, come on up to the stage. Thank you. So uh, without further ado, Diana Chizu. Wow, this is gonna be huge, folks. Nay, she you. Nay, she you. Nay, she you. Nay, she you. Take that. I'm going to do a round dance song. There they are. Come on.
Right. The whole perimeter of Parliament Hill, for, for those that know, it is huge. That is the whole perimeter. I've never seen a rap dance. The whole perimeter. Perimeter. That's the whole perimeter, folks. That is an amazing. And there's still lots more people. And still the stage area is all. They can, they can go right through the parliament. <laughs> the chicken dance! The chicken That's like a railroad! Choo choo choo!
the new people hiring. <laughs> Holy, twice around the perimeter. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, I'll keep my Yar! <laughs> Watch it, watch it, watch it. Just so people know, the day is not done. Uh, my name is Dee Shanger. I've been directing the feed today. Uh, sorry for the little cutouts here and there. Just a few seconds loss of signal, but it's fine. Um, I'm going to continue live streaming here. And then there's a feast at the Adawa, A-D-A-W-A, -A -A, on Bron I believe Bronson. I know where it is. Um, but there's a feast tonight and festivities at the Adawa. Native Friendship Center here in Ottawa. So, um, those of you from Ottawa, they're asking uh, potluck, and there's going to be a lot of leftover food from Victoria Island. So, I'm going to continue live streaming this, and then when I go off, give me about an hour or two to get to Ottawa Native Friendship Center. I, I believe they said they starts around seven to eight o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time. Um, yes, and we've been live since about 11.30 a.m. Uh, what time is it now? Uh, it's 5 o'clock. Wow. They're, that's pretty good. And uh, so we're going to continue uh, further here. And then, like I said, give us an hour or two from when we go down here. Um, we'll join uh, the evening's feast at Ottawa Native Friendship Center. And we'll have more interviews with Nishu um, Walkers. So my name is Dee Shanger, I'm a mod and live stream director here and enjoy. Thank you folks. More coming.
Oh, yes, again. Hi. Yes, Hi. that was a great Laverne. meal. Manitoba. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> who, do you, who do you want to say hi to? Hi to, hi to Justice and La Laverne and the T TCN Split Lake. And where's that, Manitoba? Manitoba. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say hi to anybody? Hello, world. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who do you want to say hi to at home? My boyfriend. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm not going to. Say hello to anybody? No, it's okay. Hello, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
seen it. receive all the solidarity of the people of the South, the Maya, the Meti, all the nations to make true the prophecy of the eagle and the condor getting together with the Quetzal. I want to do the song that I wrote for I don't know more and it like this. Oh, yeah! celebration for freedom and strength. People of all nations, people of all trends, enjoy this celebration for freedom and strength. I do no more. I do no more. I do no more. Thank you. 
That concludes our event for the hill portion for today. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Like many of the speakers that said before us that had come and stood here, there is no way that we could capture everything that the walkers had done for us. Most importantly, they taught us a very valuable lesson on how to work together. And I believe I've got a sister here that would like to share a song with people, so I'll turn it over. This song, when this Idol of War movement started, I wanted to be here on December, uh, well, it's, it's been going on way before that. I was unable to be here on December 21st, and I had a fire at my place, and um, I connected to, to the bastards that were, were um, going on the hunger strike. And, well, I'll sing this song, it's, it's all self-explanatory. No, I got a dolly. No,
last to announce something. Uh, Ashley Ezra, Ashley Kunkun. Who else? Walkers. Uh, uh, seven and the seven walkers. What? Chief Stanley. Chief Stanley. Please come up. Chief Stan George. Matthew Kuncom and Ashley Ezra. This one behind the parliament. The eagle. It just went behind parliament. It's been hovering all day. I had a feeling it was coming. When I heard them sing over there, I knew something, I knew, I knew something was going to happen. Nice. What did you think was going to happen? People were saying an eagle would fly by. After I said something's gonna happen. Yeah, eh? mm. yeah. Wanna say hi to anybody back home? No, I'm ha I'm having a really bad panic attack right now. Oh okay. Oh okay. <laughs> There's just two thousand people watching live. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> How many countries did you say? Over seventy for sure. Probably closer to a hundred plus. On six continents. Okay. By the, by the end of the day. Alright. Bye. Bye. Yes, the Confederacy and the Unity flag. Still alive? Over 2,000 people. 2,000 people. Hello again, world. <laughs> These are the original seven walkers. Yes. Well over 100 countries. Probably 50,000 total of watches wow. today. Probably. Wow. I'll check when I get home. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank, Thank you, Chi Miigwech. Thank you for the support. Peaceful protest, peaceful demonstration. Well, we'll see you tonight at the Ottawa Friendship Center. Yes, we'll be going there to the feast. I, we will be live streaming from there as well. All right, awesome, good stuff. And we'll talk further there, Chief. Good evening, everyone. Love good it. evening.
This is Occupy Toronto. Shasha! Jordan! Hello! No, no, I wasn't an organizer, just Facebook help. Wow, you're great there, Tina. So how'd you think it go? It was good, eh? It went great. We got over 100 countries watching. Oh, yeah? We peaked at about 2,000 viewers, but we were rescreened by Occupy Wall Street, London, yeah. England, a whole bunch of web Occupy... Roll. Well, I would say 50,000 people worldwide have watched us cool. today. my guess, but I could check when I get home. Yeah. Uh, you going to the Ottawa? Friendship Center? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be honest. Okay. That starts at 7 or 8, I believe. I don't know. Yeah. If that's that on, up, uh, is that on Bronson or what's No, name? okay. There's one at Bronson, Bronson Center. But this is the and Ottawa. There, there's two going on at the same time. One at Bronson Center and one at Adawa Center. That's on Sterling Street. Adawa. A Sterling, that's right. Yeah. That's the one I'm going to. It was quite, uh, quite the round pants, eh? It's neat to see them. Do you want to get it? Did it was double the over there. It was so thick. The whole perimeter. We used to get it in shot like one well, And then there was shot. two over there. Oh, I, I try to get as much of it yeah. as possible. It was cool. We got to call Guinness. Yeah. <laughs> Did you count them? <laughs> People don't want to go home. I know, eh? <laughs> Why? Well, do the walkers are gone, though, eh? Uh, they're going to Ottawa. Oh, yeah. And they yeah. probably want to rest a bit, too. Adawa, it's called. Adawa. Okay, Odia. I want to pronounce it Adawa. 
Uh, at least that's how I pronounce it from the spelling. Well, but it could be here, something. It could be something different too. <laughs> Got you! <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. What's this? Yeah. I can buy Toronto live stream. What's that? What's <laughs> 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 yeah. that? <laughs> Anyways. Well, who do you work for? <laughs> this is Occupy Toronto live stream and you're live to the world right now. Wadja. <laughs> the Lord bless you. Parvue à destination, Ottawa, une partie depuis de Lac d'Ozoa. Je suis fier de moi. Ah, merci, hein. Merci. Mais bitch. Live! Rock and roll live, man! Live! With my brother! Oh! <laughs> 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 Allez, dans, Live to the world right now. Oh yeah, cool. But mostly, a lot internal island. Oh at yeah. Least half. All right, that's life. Life? Yeah. Live, eh? Watch it. Quick, 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 quick. Peace. Okay. Thank you guys for doing the live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone walkers? Yeah, me. Yeah. Me, I'm a walker. Me, I am the walker. We we were volunteers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 look, look, picture of my family. Oh. Sister. Is she growing taller? Yeah. Bon, I am the I'm the walker. I'm the I'm very proud! I like! Yes! Is that it? Okay, you don't want to go! It didn't look last time, that's why I had to take the place. Hello! So, thank you! Thank you! No problem! Okay, I'll be right there with you. Okay? Yes! Okay. Are you live? <laughs> You're live. Okay, just a minute. I'd like to say something about the journey of Nishiyu. Yes. Uh, I'm Cree from uh, Northern Quebec, from Iwishji. Nishiyu, the word means 
the people of the land who carry the true tradition knowledge of Mother Earth. And I'm proud of the youth that walked from Wapmuk Street all the way to Ottawa because they are truly bringing back the traditions of how to be a First Nation Indigenous person. Solid with Mother Earth, Nishiyu, that's the journey they took for us to remember. Aho! Look at them. Yar! Bonjour, je m'appelle Monique Papati, je viens de Kitsakik, originaire de Autochtone Algonquin. Je suis une marcheuse, j'ai. J'ai accompli ce que j'avais à faire. Je suis tellement fière aujourd'hui d'être ici devant le palace d'Ottawa. Ça vaut la peine de faire quelque chose comme ça. Je, je, je me tape beaucoup sur les épaules. Euh, je suis tellement fière. Je le fais pour moi, mes, mes enfants, donner l'espoir aux gens qui, qui, peuvent, qui, vivent dans la, qui peuvent vivre dans la dépression, ben, dans le désespoir. Il y a toujours quelque chose de bon, de concret, puis je l'apprécie beaucoup. Journey of, Ni of Nishio. Yeah, so thank you so much. Oh, you walk of yeah. Miigwech. Yeah, Miigwech. Merci. Non, c'est l'accompagnateur des marchands. Oui, c'est Martin. Bonjour, je m'appelle Martin. Je viens de Kitizalik. Euh, J'ai parti de Kitizalik euh, il y a une semaine hier, dimanche. Ah non, pas une semaine, deux semaines. C'est pour vous dire que ça a été un grand honneur pour moi de faire partie de la marche. Parce que cette marche-là va passer euh, non seulement à l'histoire, mais va aussi faire partie des générations à venir. Euh, moi, par contre, pour moi, ça a été un combat pareil, sans précédent, parce que je suis quand même atteint du cancer. Euh, D'un point global, c'est positif. Euh, je suis en rémission quand même depuis au moins un an et demi. C'est un combat qui vaut la peine d'être vécu parce qu'on n'a rien qu'une vie à vivre. Je voudrais aussi lancer le message aux jeunes que peu importe les petits bobos que vous avez, euh, baissez pas les bras parce qu'il y a toujours de l'espoir au bout du compte. Et euh, je voudrais aussi saluer les Abyssiniens euh, et ainsi que tous euh, les gens de ma communauté s'ils sont en ligne et ainsi toute la nation du Canada, s'il vous plaît. Merci beaucoup. Merci. 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 Durant ma marche. Mais par contre, c'est sûr que. Euh, parfois, marcher, ça a l'air de rien, mais c'est très pénible à la, à la longue. C'est pour ça qu'on a un grand-père toujours avec nous qui est là, toujours pour nous guider. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Miigwech. Miigwech. Je vous aime. I love you, my friend, my brother, my sister. See you. Yes. Merci, Martin. And to the moon watching. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Live. <laughs> okay. Yeah! Okay. Okay. Toronto live stream. Okay. Google. Oh, yeah. Bon, on y va tu manger là? I don't know more. I don't know more. Yeah, then it's broadcasted though. Huh? Worldwide. Yes. Live. Live. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
Okay folks, so I'm Dee Shanger, a mod and live stream director here at Occupy Toronto. So I'm going to shut down now and I will see you back here in about an hour or two. Um, I'm going to go to Ottawa um, where a lot of the walkers are going to be having a feast at the Native Friendship Centre and uh, on Sterling Avenue. Um, so we will see you around 7 o'clock. It's now quarter to six, so between seven and eight, we'll see you back live, and we'll continue with more interviews with the walkers, um, and a more um, casual and lengthier interviews with uh, a lot of them, and uh, Chief George as well, and uh, so stay tuned, amuse yourself on the live chat, and we'll see you back live in about an hour or two, okay? Ciao, folks. Peace out, and see you on the live chat.